All right. Uh, I, look, I am still figuring out StreamYard, okay? Um, it, it's somewhat of a complicated streaming infrastructure, but, you know, I'm eventually get, getting the hang of it, okay? I promise people content will flow. So let's <clears throat> get to our next segment here. All right. This is another long article, but... Well, actually, no, it's not. So, so I, I think we can read it in due time. All right. So just screen share this. Here we go. So. <sighs> let's get to it. If Walmart would f*** off for a minute. So. <laughs> what to know about his arrest and the charges he faces. So, <clears throat> in a moment of self-reflection after the collapse of his cryptocurrency exchange, <laughs> trading, <laughs> tweeted on December 9 that he considers himself a model CEO. You're sp <laughs> Dude, you're a f saint, okay? You belong in the history books, and I am utterly shocked that you weren't seen visibly descending from f***ing heaven with wings protruding out of your back. Like, the fact that you don't have your halo above your head is just a testament to your subtlety, dude. <laughs> You're so f***ing brave. Who nevertheless made a lot of big mistakes this year. God, all these people are f***ing narcissists, dude. Regulators now allege that the former <laughs> CEO is a f far from a well-meaning corporate leader, instead of claiming that he willfully and knowingly defrauded investors, was arrested on Monday in the Bahamas on federal charges filed in the U.S., which include multiple counts of wire fraud and conspiracy related to the collapse of <laughs> the rise and stunning fall of combines the get-rich-quick allure of cryptocurrencies with the breathless hype that formerly surrounded the 30-year-old MIT graduate whom Fortune magazine once called, once called possibly the next Warren Buffett. And in the wake of his bankruptcy, the entrepreneur has left investors. <laughs> really? <clears throat> I'm sorry. I had a very disgusting moment there. I just got on with it. So, and in the wake of FTX's bankruptcy, the entrepreneur has left investors reeling and FTX owing its creditors at least three, God, I can't read that figure without laughing at it, three billion dollars, oh, 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 God, Christ, oh, man. In America, you do not f with the rich, okay? If you present a, a challenge to capital, you'd best get your lawyers paid off and ready because they will come for you. It's like Jaws up in that, okay? W within a, a sliver of chances. <laughs> There's like a 1% probability that you'll get out of there, okay? Everybody loved the idea of a politically progressive entrepreneur who is going to change the world while making them gobs of money, said Representative Bill Huizenga, a Republican from Michigan, and a, in a congressional hearing on Tuesday about the FTX collapsed. Here's what to know about the charges facing was arrested in the Bahamas Monday on federal charges that were unsealed Tuesday morning, which include eight counts of wire fraud, money laundering, violations of securities laws, and other financial crimes. <clears throat> God, this hairball. Mm. The charges, which were filed by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern, Southern District of New York, allege that he knowingly defrauded investors using their cryptocurrency assets to pay for debts and expenses for 
hedge funds. Ah, Christ, here we go again. The charges alleged that the fraud started as, as early as 2019, or the year that FTX was founded, and from its onset, the whole entire thing was a Ponzi scheme. Uh, and this is especially lucid now, because pretty much all the investors pulled out at once, but we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Is facing other charges. Yes, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, the agency that regulates the financial markets, also filed charges against on Tuesday. In that case, the agency is accusing of commingling his customers' funds with to make undisclosed venture investments, expensive real estate purchases, and big political donations. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission on Tuesday announced similar fraud charges against alleging in a lawsuit that the company caused customers to lose eight billion dollars oh my god that's an even more astounding number honestly so how much money did lose john ray the third who stepped in as ceo after reed's resignation on november 11th after a long career that included overseeing the enron bankruptcy oh my god said in the house hearing on tuesday that about seven billion dollars was lost in the collapse ray alleged that and others at misused consumer funds contributing to the losses it's really just the unlimited ability of those in control positions to borrow customer funds or take customer funds and then deploy them for their own use ray said in the hearing that used to involve margin trading which is inherently risky yeah yeah well especially with crypto that is you know extremely high risk extremely high reward either you're gonna be sitting pretty on a yacht somewhere um Preferably not out in the Bahamas, since we know the context of what goes down there. Or you're going to be in a pool of... Um, after six months. But he claimed this is really old-fashioned embezzlement. It's not sophisticated at all. Oh, no, it is not. Had been expected to testify at the hearing, but he was removed from the witness list following his arrest. What did X tell customers it was doing? X's customers used the exchange. And actually, let me preface this uh, little paragraph by saying libertarians are still um, defending cryptocurrency, saying, Well, um, it's not actually the exchanges that are the bad thing. It's not actual cryptocurrency that's the bad thing. It's just the exchanges. Holy f I cannot do that voice. Whoever it was. But the exchanges are how crypto gets traded. So l let's just elucidate here. They use the exchange to buy, store, and trade hundreds of different cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ether, Solana, Litecoin, and Dogecoin. Ah, oh, f we go again. At one point, 840 million worth of crypto assets were exchanged on its platform each day, according to Coin Market Cap. Holy my God! Ugh. Gained national attention with its expensive Super Bowl ads for this year, <sighs> featuring quarterback Tom Brady and comedian Larry David. Oh, also trust Larry. In the Larry David ad, when the comedian is told that is a safe and easy way to get crypto he responds eh i don't think so and i'm never wrong about this stuff he never is trade itself as being able to help people interested in crypto safely navigate the complexity of one of what is a notoriously risky asset class but the company had very few fine internal controls to protect customer assets with investor money transferred to Alameda and, and customer funds co-mingled into one pot of crypto, Ray testified on Tuesday. Um, just for perspective on how risky cryptocurrency actually is, here's the price of Bitcoin uh, over time, generally. Well, actually, over the course of this year. Let me just bring that up. Um, 
I don't think it's that much of a risk if you're shorting this currency. Okay. Oh, well, maybe over the past month it's done well. Oh, yeah, five days. Oh, one day it's gone up 20 bucks. Oh, okay. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> kind of stagnating. Yeah. Had a few bubbles here or there. Notoriously risky. At this point, I'd honestly just short the cryptocurrency if I were you, but, you know, I don't give out financial advice on this channel. So let's get back to the main topic of this segment. Okay. What led to this collapse? Ray and regulators are examine examining the internal workings of to get to the bottom of the failure, but the company unraveled in early November after finding itself billions of dollars in debt due to speculative investments, including the company's own digital coin that turned sour and a series of other miscalculations. Has said he mistakenly believed that had enough cash on hand to pay 24 times the amount of money users typically withdraw in a day. In actuality, the firm had a much thinner capital cushion. Sorry with only enough cash to pay 0.8 times that amount. They didn't have enough money. Simple as. When customers sought to withdraw their money amid fears about the company's solvency, there was a run on the bank race out on Tuesday, where I highlighted other issues with X as its misuse of customer funds and what he alleged was its decision to make investments without property, properly valuing the assets. By definition, I don't trust a single piece of paper in this organization. Race that on Tuesday. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. So uh, we might as well actually finish this, um, to be honest. What happens now? The U.S. is expected to ask authorities in the Bahamas to extradite which experts said is likely within the scope of a 1931 treaty between the two countries. Because of that existing legal framework, this would be a moment where one could strike while the iron is hot. Michael Parker, head of anti-money laundering and sanctions practice at law firm Ferrari and Associates, who told CBS, if Mr. for instance, went to another jurisdiction, it could be more difficult. And so the Bahamas may have been seen as a friendlier jurisdiction from which jurisdiction can take place. In pursuing the case against Parker said prosecutors will have to show that he knowingly committed the alleged crimes outlined in their indictment beyond a reasonable doubt which will not be hard for them to do, okay? So, folks, just never trust crypto, okay? They are scamming you 100%. It is a get-rich-quick scheme for them only, and they'll promise you a bag of cash, but that bag will be empty, okay? Just don't trust it.